Hey girl, hey, it's Quinn here with PTSD While Black. And we're just going to be a little intimate at the moment. Doing my hair before bed. So, uh, yeah, I'm not naked. <laughs> but I'm doing my hair before bed. And just wanting to think out some of the stuff from today. I did a uh, women's group today. And it was taught, we were talking about what are our defects of character. What are our... Um, behaviors that we've held on to. And I realized for me, part of, oops, I did that wrong. Part of the behaviors that I have held on to have been the belief and the story. And this goes with my PTSD, the belief and the story I got from my grandmother, who, um, when I was five years old or so, um, y'all know the thousand and one, I'm about to tell that same story, pooping in the front yard because they had an outhouse and I was too scared to go to the outhouse by myself. I realized one of my defects of character that I held on to is this, um, is that what I want to talk about? No, I want to talk about the basic fact that I don't, I've learned to not trust my own body from that event. And in learning to not trust my own body, there's this defect of character that I've held on to, which is self-sabotage, self-neglect, abandonment, self-abandonment. Um, and I'm having to let that defect go. I'm having to acknowledge that I've been abandoning myself and then surrounding myself with relationships and jobs and opportunities of where it's not okay for Quinn to exist. It's not okay for Quinn to have needs. Um, and I surround myself with people who don't give a damn about my needs. And... The reality is, though, is that I'm not taking responsibility for my own needs. Just like with what my grandmother taught me of not knowing my own body, that I needed to go to the bathroom, I'm learning that there are certain needs that are my own, that are valid, that are human, and simple needs of the need for nourishment, the need for release, the need for grieving, um, celebration, community, structure, stability, a roof over your head, um, love and connection, contribution and growth. These are basic human needs. And I've seen myself as being weak for having these needs. And I've stayed stuck in codependent relationships with others where either I can perfectly ignore my needs, I can deny them, I can avoid them, and I can comply with other people's needs, or then I can try to control and take over other people's needs because I've denied and avoided my own needs. So that's kind of the thought that I've been in today of realizing, uh, coming back to that crucial moment at five years old and learning that, yeah, it's okay for me to have needs. And I'm just now at 38 years old. I'm going to be 39 next month, y'all. I'm just now getting this understanding that, yes, it's okay for me to have needs for safety, for structure, for support, for community, for love, for release, for grieving. It's for love. It's okay for me to have needs for love and that it's okay for me to stop participating in activities and relationships where love isn't allowed, where I'm um, not being uh, validated as a human being. It's okay for me to say, you know what, I can't be available for this right now because I have a need for deep connection and love. And the more that I do that, the more that I say no to these things that aren't serving me, the more I can say yes to, oh, when I think of my friend Lisa, or when I think of my friend Orlando, when I think of my friend Zeus, this sounds like love. Um, this sounds like joy to me, thinking of this person. Um, when I think of my aunties, this sounds like love to me. And I can go make the phone call and connect with the people who do provide me with love and support. So, um, it's, it's kind of being more and more reaffirming for me to acknowledge that, yeah, I do deserve to have community. Yes, I do deserve to have relationships where contribution can happen. There's nothing wrong with contributing. There is a problem with taking over and doing things for people that they can do for themselves. And I'm needing to learn those balances between those things. So I'm really grateful that uh, today I got that lesson in my women's group. Um, the other thing that came to mind, it was so funny because so many of us had the exact same defective character on our list, 
besides of the avoidance, was uh, being a know-it-all. Being Brainy Smurf. Remember the Smurfs? Brainy Smurf? Getting kicked out of the village all the time because Papa Smurf always said. Um, <laughs> so just like kind of recognizing that there's this um, reality of, of what I'm doing when I'm playing the know-it-all for me is I'm avoiding the things at which I feel insecure about. I play the know-it-all to have some form of control instead of having some form of vulnerability and being able to say, you know, um, I'm uncertain here or I don't know how to connect with you. I don't know how to um, hold space for you in this moment. I don't know how to show up or support you right now. Instead of saying that, I play the know-it-all going, haven't you done this or should have you considered this? Would you try this? I've read this. And it's, it's, it's very disconnecting and invalidating for me to do that to other people. And it sure as hell is invalidating when I receive it. And so I surround myself with arrogant know-it-alls. And then I'm irritated that I'm surrounded by arrogant know-it-alls. And so I, I'm realizing, I <laughs> look at all this hair, I'm realizing that I have this responsibility to acknowledge for myself that I have... Um, Number one, it's okay to leave the village when when you're in a village full of brainy Smurfs. Um, it's okay to know for me if I've gotten kicked out of the village that this is a time for introspection of how did I make others feel uncomfortable and then what was I needing in that moment? What was I needing? I needed um, connection. I needed validation just to acknowledge myself Um and then be able to adapt and 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 connect with others. So that was just the thought that was on my mind today um, in our women's group. And I thought I would share on that. And yeah, I know I'm just putting my hair up for the night. I'm not doing the whole locking thing. But I gotta just keep this simple. But yeah, so that's that's kind of the uh reality and awareness that I was having for today. All right, till next time, y'all. Peace.